Okay, so now we know how to navigate around terminal with command line um, and we can connect to discovery, done that. So now the next step on the agenda is to create an input file. So if you've ever run a Gaussian job, um, probably through Gauss View, you've created an input file before, um, but the, the input file itself is actually a pretty simple text file and it can be easily manipulated by yourself um, to get the exact job that you want. So we're gonna look through that. So here I have just an example um, input file, either a .com or a .gjf. Uh, so just going from top to bottom, first we start off with our link zero commands. Uh, this is just kind of like the boring computer related stuff, um, like what you want your checkpoint file to be called, um, how many processors you want to run the job on. Uh, the next, um, which will come right after the link zero commands with no lines in between, uh, marked with the pound sign or the hashtag, uh, that's the job information. So this is, um, you at least need um, your method, um, which in this case is B3lib, and a basis set that applies for all the atoms you have. So for this I have line L2DC. Um, you might be more familiar with the Popol basis set, like 631G, um, and then with opt, uh, which means I want to optimize the geometry. If there's nothing there, then that would just be taking the single point energy of the electronic energy at the geometry that you provide. Um, we we'll get more to that later. So then, right after this pound, you need a blank line, a title card, which can literally just be the word title card, or it's just a whatever, like a letter. Um, it just needs that so a Gaussian can help find where the rest of the job is. Another blank line. And then you have the charge and multiplicity, uh, which should be pretty straightforward. Is it a charge molecule? No, then it's zero. Um, is it an excited state or a radical? No, then it's a singlet. Um, you can just look it up. Um, so for most intensive purposes, obviously, it's just going to be zero, one. And then you have the molecule geometry, um, which is just you have the name of the atom and the XYZ coordinates over here. And you'll have that for each one. Um, so that could be large. Uh, then at the very end here, you have kind of the miscellaneous information uh, that we won't go into right now, um, but it has like stuff like um, specifying um, special functions and uh, whatnot, but don't worry about it right now.